by 2050, 66% of humanity will live in cities. Therefore, cities have a crucial role in creating a more sustainable planet. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals have provided an important framework for cities. The 17 Global Goals have created the blueprint for achieving a better and more sustainable future. In order to make our cities more sustainable, we have to be able to see and measure life in them and turn those insights into smart decisions. Axis Communications, a leader in network video, surveillance and analytics equipment, is partnering with cities around the world to make that happen. Goal number 11 of the US Sustainability Goals aims to make cities inclusive safe, resilient and sustainable. But cities around the world are facing a number of challenges. The pandemic has affected the way people want to live and what they value. We see a change in behaviour and a higher demand on cleanliness, open spaces and green areas. And, and we see a clear trend that urbanisation has moved from the large metropolitans to smaller cities. And they are now growing quicker than expected. The inflow of people to cities have increased rapidly and that is putting a lot of stress on all the systems in the cities and the cities need to develop themselves to be able to cater for this. We need to expand the city because there are so many people wanting to move to Lund to fulfill their dreams here. At the same time as we are surrounded by the best agricultural lands of Sweden. We have green areas in the city that we want to to preserve, they are very important for uh, recreation and creating an attractive city for everyone. And we need to also build more housing that is affordable for everyone, which at the same time as we need to plan the city uh, in a way that we can reduce the emissions of the transport sector. There are a lot of challenges around, and, and that is common in many of the cities around mobility, people density, and also at the same time where we see it with, the, with, the, with, with this time is, you know, health also is becoming a challenge, and, and, and all of those is forming under uh, urban environmental challenges that we, we see. Today, all of those challenges are also being identified under the uh, UN SDGs, wherein it's helping us as a city to identify them and work around them and work and put uh, the strategic, uh, these strategic ob objectives to be achieved. A sustainable city has to be a safe place where people don't need to worry about crime. How can today's growing cities meet that need? As the responsibilities of police forces have grown, the resources allocated have not always kept pace. IoT technologies such as specialized cameras, SOS poles, intercoms, and horn speakers can zero in the challenges the law enforcement have. Together with our ecosystem of technology and channel partners, we strive to create innovative and scalable solutions that help cities overcome their everyday challenges. And one example of how Axis helps cities become safer is through the combination of network video and audio for emergency management, where voice messages triggered by alerts from a camera or other sensor can be used to warn, instruct and guide citizens. Solutions built on open standards are flexible, scalable and straightforward to integrate and adapt as city needs evolve. During the pandemic, we have also seen how surveillance systems have been adapted to monitor social distancing and integrated horn speakers have been used for communi communicating guidance and information about new regulations. A very significant trend is to do more with less. In other words, expectations are that one camera should be able to do more than one job. And this is where we feel that we can bring a lot of value to cities. Data is a powerful tool to keep a city moving in a sustainable way. To fulfil the vision of the SDGs, we need smart, data-driven decisions to manage traffic and parking. Data is also instrumental in making cities carbon neutral. 
Today, city, we do have a lot of connected devices. Our bridges are connected. Our roads are connected with cameras. And all of those connectivities is really helping the different authorities, the different agencies to make sure that they are augmented with the technology into ensuring people's, uh, people's safety. Access together with partners offers solutions to tackle general traffic challenges such as reduce congestion, increase traffic safety and improve general infrastructure and route planning as well as parking management. One example of this is the North Avenue Smart Corridor in the city of Atlanta, US. There, a combination of cameras and software are being used for traffic surveillance but also working as traffic sensors. The solution provides traffic statistics and traffic data to optimize intersections in real time and not only improving travel time and reducing waiting time at intersections as a short term benefit, but it also has a positive impact on reducing emissions long term. Another example is in a city in Slovenia, where a combination of Axis cameras and the smart parking software detects available parking spots and delivers a guiding system to the drivers. Let's say we have a city which suffers from illegal parking. And this is a big issue because this is affects the traffic system of the city. We can use the existing Axis cameras, which use for the road surveillance, to detect illegal parking by installing legal parking analytics on the camera itself. So it is running on the edge of the access camera itself. And we can send this data, the metadata, to law enforcement authorities to act. The monitoring of environmental factors is essential in cities to ensure the health and well-being of citizens. Analyzing threats and making them visible enables action and planning for a more sustainable city. There are many different challenges for cities when it comes to the environment. Through working close with different cities, we have identified various areas where we think our technology can contribute to addressing these challenges. These are universal challenges for both small and large cities all over the world, such as weather, water, air and noise pollution. Let's think about the camera as an IoT sensor. In our case here, let's think about a weather sensor. By combining access cameras with analytics from our partners, the camera is enabled to measure rainfall, detect snowfall, detect hail, track temperature, assess visibility. Video technology could have a good potential to becoming more and more important for our uh, monitoring of the environmental situation in the city. For example, for having more efficient measuring of air quality, noise levels and uh, many different kind of uh, applications that we could develop in the future. One concrete example is the case of an emergency situation, such as a natural disaster. In the city of Concon, in Chile, um, this is a city under constant threat of earthquakes and tsunamis, there is a combination of Axis network cameras and horn speakers used to be able to quickly address the public in the case of an emergency. Another example is the case of illegal dumping of waste. In New Orleans, authorities have deployed Axis cameras and radar detectors in chronic illegal dumping sites across the city. The radar detector is pointing at the site and will, in the case of an event, direct the camera towards the site and capture the offender on site, red-handed, and creating video evidence of the incident. And when there is no action in the site, the cameras included in the city's canopy of public safety cameras, so actually serving a dual purpose, making the most of the investment. One of the smartest cities in the world, Dubai, uses such digital technology to gather real-time data and simulate on a digital dashboard the impact of any potential policy decision. The digital dashboard proved its worth during the COVID-19 pandemic. 
So City Simulation Dashboard is using the latest technology in order to build a modeling and a different scenarios that the city can, can go uh, around. And that takes multiple variables that we can look at. Understanding the crowd of the city, that is one input which is, was very important. Understanding the number of cases in different areas with their demographics and also the policy decisions that the policymakers wanted to do. Opening the airport, how that would impact the rises of number of cases within the city. Bringing people to be uh, back at their offices, how do we, uh, how, what would be the impact of that? City simulation is doing all of those simulations that the decision makers have in, in their mind and provide them with an input where they can analyze the situation and take the decision that they need in different, uh, different aspects of life. As I said, you can do it for education, you can do it for transportation, you can do it even for the economy and understand which sectors you need to focus on and provide the stimuli, uh, stimulus packages that can support the industries who are impacted within the city. Public safety, urban mobility, and environmental monitoring, cities are in the midst of a massive transformation. How can they succeed and achieve sustainability? To be able to reach the smart city, I think we need to look at the, the way we do business, where I think we need to look at uh, collaborate rather than compete. We need to look at how can we can break up the silos that today exist in, in many businesses. There are a lot of data that needs to be shared between different services in a city to make, make those uh, objectives of a smart city to be fulfilled. You need a good governance. You need a good skill sets of people that are delivering towards your objectives. You do need also a collaborative and partnership approach towards uh, the uh, work and the, the, the way that you are going to achieve your targets. You need to work together with the private sector where many of the ideas actually uh, are born and you need to work together with civil society and the citizens itself. The technology is there. This is not a technology challenge. What we need is transparency to share data, knowledge and our insights. It's difficult to say how fast we can accomplish the UN SDGs in cities. But what we do know is that what will help this development going faster is that different authorities and organizations, both private and public, that they collaborate, share data and insights and work together.